This is Pop! OS 2004, the perfect Linux distribution of 2020, which is better than Ubuntu 2004. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Linux video. In this video, I will talk everything about Pop! OS 2004, what's new and its features. Let's get started. So what is Pop! OS? System76 is a hardware vendor who ships laptops and desktops with Pop! OS. It is based on Linux Ubuntu with many known tweaks. But the OS doesn't feel much different from Ubuntu. Since GNOME is an open source, System76 has the freedom to tweak the OS to better serve its customers. Now out of the box, Pop! OS feels same as Ubuntu, but System76 added more optimizations and tweaks that makes a difference from Ubuntu OS. Now let's talk about the features of Pop! OS 2004. First, let me show you the version as I'm running on my PC. I'm gonna open settings page and here you can see the Pop! OS version along with some system specifications. Now, Pop! OS supports NVIDIA proprietary drivers, which means it has a generic NVIDIA drivers pre-installed on the system that improves the performance of desktop environment. So if your PC or laptop has a discrete NVIDIA graphic card, then Pop! OS works like a charm. So by now, you understand Pop! OS is built on the top of Ubuntu. The default GNOME desktop environment looks super fresh. Now, System76 has added a software modifications to distinguish between Ubuntu and Pop! OS. If you're a fan of flat desktop interfaces, you will like the theme that comes as a default in Pop! OS. The desktop and title bars all use a bright turquoise theme that makes the interface feels more natural. Now, it's time to talk about the dark mode. Pop! OS 2004 supports a pure dark theme in its latest release. This theme has a deeply integrated into the system that works much better than Ubuntu 2004. Now, within the settings, under the appearance, you get a toggle switch that lets you enable the dark theme. Now, once the dark theme has enabled, check out the status bar and the default applications look pretty amazing. Overall, I would say the latest GNOME shell has tweaked much better in Pop! OS 2004 that led a way to make the dark theme work much better than Ubuntu 2004. Now, Pop! OS supports a feature called Workspaces. They are useful on laptops and smaller displays. These are nothing but a desktop pages. Clicking the Activities button reveals all of the applications running in the background. You can simply drag and drop each window into the empty page to create a new workspace for that application. This way, you can neatly organize the application by using a workspaces. Also, you can quickly jump between the desktop pages by using a keyboard shortcut, super, control, plus up or down arrow keys to switch between the pages of the desktop. Just take a look at the speed and smoothness of the UI. It's much refined and definitely is much faster and responsive than Ubuntu. This way, multitasking would be a much faster and smoother. Now, one of the big things of Pop! OS 2004 is that it comes with the brand new feature called Auto Tiling. Pop! OS Auto Tiling neatly organizes your desktop and makes it easy to navigate applications with your keyboard. From the top right corner, click the Tiling menu and enable the Tile windows. Also, enable the Show Active hint that displays the current active window. Now, once it's enabled, now you can start launching the applications from the launcher and they will neatly organized or tiled in the available space. You can launch as many applications you want and the auto tiling feature easily tiles the window into its own space. You can also rearrange the windows using your mouse cursor. Also, pressing the super plus using the arrow keys help in navigating across the windows. Pressing Super plus Enter highlights the window adjustment mode and using the arrow keys you can move the active window across different spaces. 
Overall, I would say Pop! OS auto tiling feature optimizes your workflow with intuitive shortcuts and smart window management. Like Ubuntu, Pop! OS 2004 offers some system applications which are pre-installed. You get a file manager, Firefox, Office Toolkit, and many other applications. Now, one thing I have noticed after installing Pop! OS is that it won't come with the dock menu as well as the minimize and maximize buttons for the window applications are disabled. So I encourage everyone to install the known tweak tools from terminal by typing this command. Now once it's installed, you can find known tweaks inside the app launcher menu. Simply search for tweaks. Now using this tweaks toolkit, you can customize many things of the GNOME desktop environment. Then under the appearance tab, you can choose the themes. This way you can change the look of the whole system user interface as per your liking. Now to enable the dock menu, head over to extensions tab then look for the dash to dock option and keep in mind you have to download this extension from Firefox and install it. Once you have done installing it, you can enable or disable the dock menu using the tweaks application. Also in order to enable or disable the minimize or maximize buttons, choose a window tile bars. Then from here you can enable these buttons. Now, unlike Ubuntu 2004, which relies on Snap Package Management, Pop! OS uses Aptitude and Flatpak Management, meaning it's very easy to install, remove, and update all the software on the OS. For those who don't know, Flatpak is an easy package management to create an application and run across the entire Linux desktop market. This way, every package is treated as self-container that can run on different Linux distributions. Now the default pop shop is deeply integrated with Flathub, the place where you can find a lot of applications that fulfills the user necessities. While installing any application from the pop shop, you can either download the application using as a standard Debian package or from the Flatpak hub. Thanks to its self-contained mechanism, the Flatpak based packages are pretty easy to uninstall with few commands. Typing Flatpak list from the terminal that shows all of the installed applications. This command gives more information about each installed package such as version, branch, and more. In order to remove any package, typing a flat pack, uninstall, and the name of the application ID. And that's it. This is one heck of easy thing to uninstall the package. Overall, I would say the vast software libraries of Ubuntu and Flatpak combine to make all of your tools available in a single location called the Pop Shop. The Pop Shop is so called the Android's Play Store or the Apple's iOS Store, and the developers are constantly adding in new applications. When it comes to privacy, Pop! OS does not collect or store any information from user installations. Minimal OS and hardware data is used but not stored to provide the updates and connectivity verification. Apps packaged through Flatpak require permission to access more than what's needed to function. So the bottom line of this video, if you are a software developer who wants high performance desktop and minimal user interface then Pop! OS is the one you must give it a shot. Being a programmer, I'm in love with Pop! OS. I can feel that I'm getting addicted to Pop! OS every single day. For computer science students, this is the best Linux distro ever for learning the basic concepts of Linux environment. Overall, I would say Pop! OS is the perfect Linux distro in 2020 that delivers a decent performance. So let me know what you think about Pop! OS 2004, should you try it? Also comment your opinions and suggestions and I definitely consider it improving the channel. That's pretty much it, this has been KS Karayo, I'll catch you in my next video.
can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right